Last time we talked about white kitchens. I'll throw a link up into one of these top corners in case you missed it. Wait! Don't go yet, watch the rest of this first. This week, I wanna have a little bit of fun and take a look at color psychology, how it impacts design, and how we can use it to our advantage when designing our kitchens. Color psychology plays a rather interesting role in kitchen design because it can impact the mood and behavior of us while we're using the space. It has a powerful effect on our emotions and can even influence our physical sensations. This is why it's rather important to take into consideration a little bit of color psychology when we're planning a space that we're gonna spend a lot of time in. Take a kitchen, for example. One of the key ways color can affect kitchen design is by selecting colors that elicit a specific mood or feeling. For example, warm tones like reds or yellows offer up more of a lively and exciting feel, whereas cooler tones like blues and greens elicit more of a calming or relaxation effect. In addition to mood, color can also have an effect on our perception of temperature and space. For example, warmer colors make us feel warmer, whereas cooler colors can make the space feel somewhat cooler. The same goes for space as a general term. Lighter tones tend to lead to a more spacious and open feel, where darker tones tend to give us more of a feeling of warmth and intimacy. When it comes to kitchen design specifically, there are a few other considerations we need to take into account as well. For example, tone can affect hunger or appetite. Warmer tones tend to increase our appetite, whereas cooler tones tend to decrease our appetite. One of the last important factors to consider is the effect of light on color. The same color can look quite different under natural or artificial light. This is really important in our kitchens because not only are we trying to achieve as much natural light as possible to give that feeling of warmth, we generally have a lot of different sources of artificial light in our kitchen because we have both task and mood lighting. Let's take a look at a few specific colors. Red is known to increase appetite and stimulate energy levels, making it a popular color for kitchen accents or accessories. However, too much red can be overwhelming and cause feelings of stress and anxiety. Yellow is a bright and cheerful color that is associated with happiness and optimism. In the kitchen, it can help create a welcoming and warm atmosphere. However, too much yellow can be overstimulating and cause feelings of frustration. Green is a calming and soothing color that is associated with nature and tranquility. In the kitchen, it can help create a sense of relaxation and balance. Additionally, green is often associated with freshness, making it a popular choice when it comes to kitchens. Blue is another calming color associated with tranquility and relaxation. In the kitchen, it can help create a calming and serene atmosphere. However, too much blue can create a feeling of coldness, so it's important to balance it with warmer colors. For example, we often see blue cabinets paired with warm wood tones to balance the design. White is a clean and neutral color that can make a kitchen feel bright and open. It can also create a sense of purity and cleanliness, which is important in a space where food is prepared. However, too much white can feel sterile or clinical, so once again it's important to incorporate other colors and textures to add warmth and personality. So how do we go about taking advantage of this when we are planning or designing our kitchen? The first step is to take a minute and step back and reflect or consider the mood or atmosphere we're trying to achieve. Warm colors like reds, yellows, and oranges tend to create an energetic and lively atmosphere, whereas cooler tones like blues and greens give more of a relaxing or calming feel to the space. Neutral colors like white, gray, or beige provide a timeless palette from which you can build on. Create contrast to give some visual interest and balance to the kitchen. For example, if you have a kitchen with a neutral base like white, use colorful accents in blues or greens to give a fresh and vibrant feel. Alternatively, a colorful kitchen can be balanced with neutral accents to prevent the space from feeling overwhelming. In an open concept layout, colors can be used to differentiate different zones within that open space. If you remember a few weeks back, I talked all about how I like to use some sort of di visual differentiation to break up an open concept to prevent it from feeling like an airplane hanger. For example, warmer tones like reds or yellows could be used in the dining area to stimulate appetite and a very welcoming feel. Alternatively, in the kitchen or prep area, cooler tones like blues or greens can be used to give that feeling of freshness and cleanliness. 
Consider the impact of natural light. As I mentioned earlier, light can have an incredible effect on how color looks in different situations. I have a blue accent wall across the open hallway or main living area of my open concept. It acts as sort of a unifying color between all of the spaces. However, that particular blue can take on just the slightest tinge of purple under really warm light. Going back to the kitchen, if you're renovating a closed kitchen design or an enclosed kitchen and it has limited natural light, focus on lighter colors to help create that bright, inviting and open and airy feel. Color can be used to complement other materials and finishes in the kitchen, such as your countertops, your backsplash, your cabinets, or your flooring. For example, warm colors can be paired with wood finishes to create an intimate atmosphere, while cool colors can be paired with stainless steel or concrete finishes to create a modern and sleek atmosphere. Experiment with patterns and textures to add depth to the kitchen. A great example of this is a patterned backsplash tile that can be used to create both visual interest and pick up on the colors used in the rest of your space. By using color psychology to your advantage, you can not only create a space that looks good, but create one that supports the mood, the atmosphere, that environment you're trying to create. I know this isn't the typical type of video I make where I'm really diving into function and the, the meat and potatoes of the kitchen, but it's fun to take a step back every now and then and just examine a way that our brains take in information and process it to generate a feeling. With that, that's it for this one. Thanks a ton for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.